Hello dear friends, welcome to our YouTube channel, Best Project. We will cover, all these topic in this video. In power transmission line, there are many faults occurs, which is necessary to understand, like line to ground fault, line to line fault, open circuit fault, short circuit fault, etc. For the reliability of the system, to fulfill this purpose, we made this prototype of the system, as showing on the screen. Let us discuss, components used in this project. It is the main switch of the system, it controls, 230 volt AC. This connector is used to, connect main supply to run the system using the nuts, as you can see. It is used to provide, constant 5 volt to run the other NO. There are 3 transformer used for all 3 R, Y, and B phases. To measure the voltage of all 3 phases, with accuracy, we need to convert it into DC, for this purpose, we are using this rectifier circuit. We are using, this other NO Nano, as a brain of the system, it handles the entire process like, to measure the voltage, detect the fault, run the LCD. Our system shows, totally, different faults, which needs an LCD, which gives many characters, at the same time, for this purpose we're using, Nokia 5110 LCD. Please comment, on which topic you want project, on this channel. This is a voltage controller, it reduces and increases the system voltage, to test the over voltage and, under voltage fault conditions. It is a voltage divider circuit, it is used, to reduce the voltage at 5 volt, because Arduino cannot handle voltage, more than 5 volt. There are 3 toggle switches, used to create, the open circuit fault condition, to test the system, please like and share the video. These black push buttons are, installed to create, the short circuit condition, it has very low resistance connected, to create line to ground short circuit fault, for all three phases. Now, using this power cord, we will connect our system to the power supply. The process is as on the screen. For security, the power supply must be turned off during this process. To energize it, we will connect it to the power socket. Let us turn on, the main switch. Project title and, student names are appearing on the screen, if you buy this setup, your name will be on the screen. Our system is showing, voltages of, R, Y, and B phases, as seen on LCD, and there is, no any fault. We will open circuit the, R phase, using the toggle switch, and see our system detect it, or not. Our system has, successfully detected the fault, and showing, OCF on the screen, means, there is open circuit fault, at, R phase. Now, we will open circuit, Y phase, and test the system. The Y phase open circuit fault is detected successfully, as seen on the screen. Same for, B phase. Our system is working very fine. Red LED also shows the status of each phase here. Now, we will close each phases again. Turning on phase B. Phase B is showing OK again. Again turning on phase R. R phase is showing, OK. Time to turn on, Y phase.
Now, we will perform short circuit tests. For the first time, we will short circuit the phase R with ground. Our phase short circuit is successfully detected. Huge voltage drop occurred because of short circuit. Now showing OK because we have released our phase push button. Now, line to ground short circuit test for Y phase. Y phase SC test is working fine, also showing heavy voltage drop at Y phase. Also for B phase. Also working perfect for B phase. Time to test for over voltage fault. Using the voltage controller, we will increase the supply voltage and check its effect on the system. You can see the position of voltages around the knob. According to the system, there is no any fault. Over voltage fault is detected according to the screen and also supply voltage is more than 230 volt. We will move the knob to normal position and will test the system. Voltage is in the normal range, hence system is showing OK. Let us move to our next test, which is under voltage fault test. For this, we will move the knob to the left to reduce the voltage. Under voltage fault have successfully detected as seen. Don't forget to like the video. The last thing is to look at the wiring available on the back side of the setup. If you have any question regarding the project, ask in the comment section below. If you want to purchase this project, visit description box below. Take care, we will see you next time.